through this graffito technique, I've, I've created a bird here, and it's within uh, the tops of the trees, so there's vines, leaves, and, and florals. Not totally realistic, but pretty much so. Um, I mean, I'm not sticking to the genus of the tree because of the importance of the composition on the surface is more important to me than, than the scientific uh, verisimilitude of, of the leaves and, and uh, flowers. So basically, I have drawn in the shape of the bird and then in order for it to stand out, I will carve away the areas next to it. And meanwhile, I have put some of the things, some of the foliage or whatever near it. But as, I, as you can see, I haven't finished it. And as I work around, I'll look at it and see how the, form, how the composition and form is. And I will probably add something in here, depending upon how I feel once I get around there after having carved away the negative areas. Um, I have several tools that I use. This is one that has two sides. One can make a clean straight edge and the other will get close to the little lines. I'm not super careful. I haven't pre-drawn the pot so it may change as I carve because as I look at it I feel like something needs to move. I can't put clay back, but I can take it away. This is the one I use to make the lines. Uh, it uh, pulls up a burr, and that way the, the clay, the, uh, the slip is taken away from the line, because if it's left in there, you wouldn't be able to see the line at all. And then for, for tiny areas like here, I'll use this tool around the bill maybe to get out extra little bits of clay. And I have a couple of others that I'll use occasionally. When I do bigger work, this is a better tool. I've got a bunch of others, but these are basically my three favorite tools. These are drawings that I don't really draw from, but I just use them as a touchstone so that as I work, I uh, will have the basic uh, feel of the, the birds.